in this video, we're going to be talking about how you could check to see what applications are using your battery in Windows, and then also how to run a battery troubleshooter in case you want to maybe find out how you can improve your battery life, and then also how to, to uh, shut down some apps that are maybe running in the background to kind of uh, keep your battery going a little bit longer there. All right, so we're on a Windows 10 computer here, so the process for Windows 11 is uh, really similar. So what you want to do is go to your settings and then click on system. And then for Windows 10, it's under battery. For Windows 11, it's under power and battery, I believe. Okay, so you have your battery saver. You can turn it on. This shows your total battery. Uh, checkbox here to lower your screen brightness when you're in battery saver mode. And then if you want to turn on your battery saver mode, you could pick a percentage of battery to do so at. So when you maybe when you get down to 50%, it'll automatically kick in the battery saver mode. Uh, It'll also lower your screen brightness if you have this checked. And then right here too, it'll limit notifications and other background activity. So under that, you have your battery app usage. So this is for a time period of 24 hours. This computer hasn't been on that long, so it's not gonna have a lot of stuff here. So you can see the settings is using the most here. The app I'm recording with is using some. I've got Google Chrome, Word, Reaper, Antivirus, Outlook. And it kind of tells you, you know, what kind of stuff like this phone link which I'm not even using, but yet it's still using battery power. Some Dropbox and HP stuff, Internet Explorer, which I'm not using. So if you had something here that had a high battery percentage, that's something you're not using, then that's, you know, something to tip you off that you need to go find out why this is running and how to turn it off so you can get your battery life back. A lot of these things are just kind of running in the background. Okay, so if you want to run the battery troubleshooter, you go back home, and then to update and security, you have a troubleshooting section here. And then you can view uh, troubleshooting history, or you can do the additional troubleshooters. This is what we want to do. And in Windows 11, it's probably different, so you probably want to just go to your search and type in troubleshooting to get you to that section there. So here we have various troubleshooters we could run. So we want to run the one for power here. So click on Run the Troubleshooter for Issues. So it wants to uh, apply a more efficient power plan. It says that'll help me to uh, improve my battery life, but I don't want to do that. I want to skip that for now. So now it didn't do that, but here's all the other stuff that it did do, and it also dimmed my screen, which you can't see on the video most likely. So I changed the hard drive timing. When the uh, display goes to sleep, when the computer goes to sleep, the brightness, and the USB selective suspend. Okay, so now that that's done, that should give me some more battery life. And you can always go back into your power settings and adjust that if you want. The best way to do that is from control panel. Power options. So then whatever plan you're on, you can change the plan settings. You change advanced power settings. And you can go through these and kind of you know change whatever you want for your turn off hard drive and turn off display and uh, sleep settings and all that other good stuff here. All right, so now if you want to find out how to kill some apps and see what's running in the background, uh, you could open Task Manager. So Control, Shift, Escape is one way to do it. Or you could right click on the blank spot on the taskbar and pick uh, Task Manager. Or if you're in Windows 11, you could right click on the Start button and choose Task Manager. And then you click on the Startup tab. You'll see all this stuff here that's running. And if you check this column here to show Enabled on top, then he's, here's all the stuff that's enabled and running. So if you don't want any of this stuff uh, running, you could just click on it and disable it. And that way you can kill a bunch of stuff. Like all these things were set to run on this computer in the background using up battery life and processor and that kind of thing. So I was went through earlier and disabled all this, all these things that I didn't need. So you could do that too. Just make sure you know what you're disabling before you do it because it might be something you need, like your antivirus uh, app running in the background and that kind of thing. Okay, so once again, From system and then battery. 
check your settings here, and you can check your battery app usage 24 hours, or if you go back a week and see what's different. This thing hasn't been on in the past week, so it's not going to look a whole lot different for between 24 hours and a week. And then when you go back home to your update security, and then your troubleshooters, additional troubleshooters, and find your power one, run it, see what it does, and then, you know, if you need to make any adjustments, go back and control panel under power and kind of fine tune it, and then hopefully you'll get a little uh, extra battery life. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank you.